Hello, it's Miglef back again, and today I'm got, I got some new sweet information on Month of the Man God. So, actually, uh, I don't know if uh, the calendar leaked or that um, uh, it got released somehow. I think someone got it on Facebook. Uh, and yeah, so let's go through the calendar. So, first, on um, Month of the Man God start, we have the Oryx Horde, August 1st to September the 5th, I think. And then there will be a Shaitan event. Shaitan chest event. That's awesome. Uh, where spawn in dungeons? Uh, something in all Godlands dungeons. This is my first reaction, so yeah. Um, and this is the only information I have. I have no text or anything, so I'll go from the picture. Uh, after that, we have a Shatters event for the weekend. It's four days. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Then we got a Haunted Cemetery event, and that seems very nice. Can maybe get a Plague or two and uh, rest or one or two. Yeah. Uh, and the weekly fame box. Uh, new weekly fame box every Wednesday. Uh, then there is uh, Encore event. Uh, uh, the weekend there, week number two of Month of My God. Then we, on the Tuesday, we got a DDoX event through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And on Thursday, this is very interesting and very nice, <laughs> is the event white drop chance times two. So, if I believe right, every event white in the realm will have a two times drop rate. And two times is a lot. Uh, and hopefully we can all get some white bags and some Event whites that is super rare, so yeah, I already have four jugs, but I can take a seed or, or a conflict or Oreo. Uh, that that weekend, starting the Friday there, the 17th, we got the tube event uh, through Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, then on the Tuesday, uh, a reef event will start. Uh, reef event till Friday. Friday will start the ice cave event. Uh, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Monday. Uh, then we have Parasite event uh, and a new fame box. Then on Wednesday again, uh, Thursday Parasite event, Friday Parasite event. Then we have Lost Halls, Lost Halls chest event. Like two minutes ago, I spoke to uh, my good friend Halbest and said there is rumored to be uh, some type of event in Lost Halls, and he said, "No way, there can't be a chest event in Lost Halls." But I said. I think, I believe, I I believe they would do it, and we got it. We have gotten confirmation on Lost Halls event, and this is amazing. Hopefully it's in Void that you can get all the white bags from Lost Halls, and oh, this is so good. Like, Lost Halls event, yeah. Um, then we will have that from the fr Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then on Thursday, uh, September the 5th, the month of the Mad God will end. Uh, in the right corner, we can see exchange tokens for great rewards. Um, okay, so 10 orcs, uh, orcs tokens, uh, the same as last year, for one kingdom skin of choice at the Tinkerer. Then we have there, uh, let's see here, 8, 12, 14 kingdom skins. Uh, yeah. 14 kingdom skins, some new skins for the characters. Those seems pretty cool, like uh, old medieval type um, of um, skins, yeah. Uh, then we have the stone tokens, for one stone skin of choice at the Tinkerer, so then we have all the uh, stone skin. There is also uh, included the samurai stone skin I saw in the Realm I Leak, uh, uh, Realm I Leak uh, post by Nigel, I think. Uh, and then we have the moss tokens for one moss bag containing a random reward. So this is a better system in my opinion than the uh, old system with the orcs bag, stone bag, a moss bag. Because in the store, orcs bag you could get a moss bag that was shitty. And yeah, that was just RNG on RNG on RNG. So I think this is a better system that you can exchange for a skin that you want. And uh, yeah, because... Last year I got three stone skins for my characters. Didn't get an, uh, like a lot, so I would actually like to have like the sorcerer skin and the ninja skin, so now I can choose which I want. 
and there's still 2k feed power I think so that's very nice and yeah as I said we have the moss bag then for 10 moss rewards so this is very cool and we will have the orc sword through the whole event and yeah uh, I really like this event white drop chance times two uh, it's and it, it, I th this will bring more people to the realms and so you actually do quests together and um, you could do events instead of sitting in Nexus on a key event so I think people instead of sitting in Nexus on that week it will instead of sitting in Nexus and waiting for ddox and tombs I think people will go to the realm and do quests and that's very nice because then the realms will get full again uh, yeah, so this is all the information I got so far on Moth of Mad God. I hope you all like it. I liked it very I much. Again. again. <laughs> and uh, this is amazing news. Uh, some interesting info today that I saw on Reddit today. Um, I saw that there is on the, uh, in the character screen when you choose for a character, uh, when you hover your mouse over the summary class, it says unlock 25 stars with the wizard uh, I have two theories about this uh, one that it's just so no one can get the class uh, because it's impossible to get to level 25 or that they are actually bringing level 25 into the game the max level of 25 instead of 20 so I've seen some uh, like ideas on reddit like you get level 21 when you reach 8 18 base fame you get level 22 when you reach uh, 150 level 3 when you reach 400 level 4 800 and then level 25 when you reach 2k fame uh, I'm not sure how this would be uh, it could just be um, a temporarily thing so no one can unlock the class but I it would be interesting if they brought uh, 25 levels to the game but uh, I, I'm not really sure yet if it's going to be because if you look on testing and you look on them and you hover over the summary class it will say a lock when you're level 20 on wizard and level 20 on ninja so that's uh, confirming that like bust the myth of 25 levels but I still t would think that it would be cool and new with uh, 25 levels because they have said that they will rework the fame system and that could be a part of that system and uh, yeah it's just quite interesting and uh, yeah uh, well that's all the information on some updates and leaks and uh, month of the manga news today and um, i will be gone till from the 29th of july to the 5th of august uh, so i will miss the first days of uh, month of the manga so probably no video i might uh, get one video up about the new class or something uh, I'll try to do that as fast as I can but then if I'm not it's sad but I will be back the fifth and yeah then I will be booming out information videos for you guys well that's all for today guys I uh, hope you like the video and subscribe if you haven't and uh, see you in the next one